Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting. Read this question carefully. This question was sent by one of our viewer. What is the maximum capacity of a bucket that can be used to fill two small tanks having capacity of 72 liter and 84 liters respectively? Let us try to understand and analyze this situation carefully. You are having two tanks. One tank is having capacity 72 liters and second tank is having capacity 84 liters. And when two tanks are placed outside, you need one bucket, right? Let's suppose we need one bucket. Obviously, this bucket would be having some volume capacity of the bucket, right? It will be fixed. Now, what capacity of this bucket should be so that it can fill both the tanks? That means whatever the capacity of this tank will be, obviously that will be a number, right? It can be 8, 9, 10, 11 liter, whatever. But that number is very important because 72 must be divisible by this number. Only then number of buckets can be counted. 84 should also be divisible by that number. Only then number of buckets should be counted. This is the first thing. Now you will say there can be many numbers. Like capacity of bucket can be 2 liters. They can fill this, these two tanks. Capacity of bucket can be 4 liters also. Then still these buckets can be filled. But the point is, if you read the first point, it is said maximum. Maximum means maximum capacity of the bucket we need to find. Not 2 and 4 specifically. Which gives me idea of finding HCF. Because when I was saying 2, 4, what was that? Those were the factors of 72 and 84. But I need highest factor. Highest number. That means find HCF of 72 and 84 in this question. Now the point is how to find HCF. See I am doing division method which is very easy. 72 and 84 you just need to find a number on which both are divisible. You will say they are divisible by 2, they are divisible by 4, they may be divisible by 6. But whatever the tables you know, like I know the table of 12. It is easy, right? We usually say we should learn tables till 20. So 12 table everybody knows. 12 times 6 is 72 and 12 times 7 is 84. This is what I can write. Now 6 and 7, they both are not divisible by any common number. So no need to continue further. This particular 12 is the HCF. This is one of the way of finding HCF which I find very easy. So HCF of these two numbers is 12. That means you need a bucket with quant capacity 12 liter. If you have bucket of maximum capacity 12 liter, then easily both tanks can be filled using the same bucket. Now another way. Few of you might be thinking, that we get confused in finding LCM and HCF. Whether this is the question of LCM or of HCF. Now let me tell you something. If you are expecting answer lesser than the given number of values. Like you are given two values 72 and 84. Your tanks are having capacity 72 and 84 and you need a small bucket. Using which you want to fill the tank. Now obviously capacity of that bucket cannot be more than these two given values, right? If you are not expecting answer greater than the given values, that means you are expecting lower value, right? Do remember, if lower value you are expecting, it is a case of HCF. That is the uh, very easiest way to understand, but this, is this can be possible only when you understand the statement carefully. Please don't just learn the value like if maximum comes then HCF, no. That's a cramming. You understand the concept. Then you think that yes, I need a small bucket. If small bucket is required, that means small quantity. Small quantity is required, that means case of HCF. Bigger value expected means case of LCM. I hope you are clear with the concept. Thank you so much for watching the video.